Hi, welcome to my poster on longitudinal prediction of motor dysfunction after stroke, a disconnectome study. First, I want you to imagine or recall the situation where you see a patient with a stroke. According to statistics, that patient will most likely exhibit motor dysfunctions like partial paralysis of hands, for example. So when you see this patient, will you be able to tell if this patient is going to recover, for example, in one year? Probably if you are an experienced clinician, you might have a good guess. However, it might be useful to have a tool that will potentially provide supportive evidence for your decision, which would allow you to adjust the rehabilitation in future. So in this study, we propose such a tool that predicts motor outcomes at two weeks, three months, and one year after stroke. So how did we do that? We had a data set of 62 patients, stroke patients at acute stage. Uh, using BCB toolkit, we generated for each patient uh, disconnection patterns. Then to reduce uh, the dimensions, we mapped each patient's disconnection pattern onto a space derived from an independent large data set of ischemic stroke patients, which is called disconnectome, and it consists of 46 components. This procedure gave us the patient's estimated score of each component. Then we used those estimated scores to predict two motor components for the left and right side of the body at three time points. We used here rich regression and we optimized and externally validated uh, that model. So here we can see the results of the rich regression on unseen by the model data. The disconnectum approach allowed us to improve the prediction precision of motor outcomes at acute stage in comparison to previous study that used the same data set and they also used the rich regression at acute stage. In addition, we extended the results for long-term predictions. We went further and looked at the top three components in the rich regression that were a significant contributor in explaining the variance in data. So for example, the right inferior frontal gyrus was significant contributor for the left motor impairments, starting from two weeks to one year after stroke. And we see that these connection patterns vary across time and they involve uh, areas beyond motor cortex. So here are uh, my uh, take home messages and uh, I will be happy to discuss uh, in uh, more details this uh, project uh, with you. Thank you.